Here's one right here. Are oh. you afraid? I'm not because they don't bite. They don't sting. Snuffing right at you. <laughs> John Kelly is a columnist for the Washington Post newspaper. For decades, he's also studied and written about the insects known as cicadas. I'm fascinated by just how the cicada does what it does, the strange life it leads. You know, it lives underground for 17 years, and, it, and somehow it knows when to come up. And, and not only, you know, one cicada, but billions and billions of cicadas all get the message at the same time and start crawling up and then it's like something you know from a science fiction movie they're in one form and they grab onto a tree and they change into another form and they break out of their shells like in the alien movies and then they fly away across the eastern united states billions of cicadas have emerged after 17 years underground the sound of mating males is grand but deafening it can reach 100 decibels, the loudness of a lawnmower or a chainsaw. Kelly is so certain that his fellow Washingtonians share his fascination with cicadas that he has challenged his readers to a cicada poetry writing contest. These poems just keep coming, just like the cicadas, they're endless. Like, here's a nice one. My purpose in life was to mate me. I sang for a female to date me. My song made the neighborhood hate me, and then came a squirrel and ate me. I think the best poems are going to be funny, they're going to be clever, and maybe they will be poignant. I, I'm hoping for some poems that really play up the fact that, you know, cicadas have this unusual life where they live most of their time underground and come up to the surface only for a few weeks. And, and that they make the most of their time on Earth. And I, I want poems that, that explore the poignancy in, of that and how maybe we can learn something from the cicadas, that we should live our life to the fullest in the brief time that we have on this planet, too. Hundreds of entries have swarmed in for Kelly's Cicada Poetry Writing Contest. The it's winner beautiful. gets his or her poem published in the Washington Post a fitting tribute to this unique creature, which will mate and die within weeks. Laurel Bowman, VLA News, Washington.